Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the president of Benchmark Metals Inc., Jim Gregg. How you doing today, Jim? Very well. Thanks for having me, Rich. Always a pleasure. Really excited to have you on the show. So, Jim, good to have you back on the show since we talked last. You guys have had some press releases in regards to drilling and permitting for your gold and silver projects. Can you go through the last few press releases and how they impacted the company? Sure. Um, so about a month ago, we put out news just showing how the company is advancing our permitting process towards building a mine. And um, so we're very advanced on the geotechnical and engineering portion of our program. All of this work that is in progress as we speak is going towards a feasibility study. And that's anticipated for early next year. So, you know, about 10 months away, we'll have a feasibility report. And this is a production decision. At that point, we decide to put shovels in the ground. But in addition to that, uh, we started drilling in January, February, and March of this year. And that drilling is already paying off dividends. So we saw some numbers from the Dukes Ridge deposit area. Uh, and these numbers were below the current resource. So it's, it's providing new gold and silver ounces, but 52 meters of 3.7 grams per ton uh, gold equivalent. So gold and silver. So extraordinary numbers that will go towards expanding the resource. Jim, those are great numbers. What can we expect in, in the next few months? So we've got two big milestones on the threshold here. The first is an updated mineral resource estimate. This resource estimate is based on all of the drilling from last year in 2021. And it's also including some of the drilling from 2022 that was completed um, right after the new year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we anticipate this updated resource to be published um, in approximately a month's time or under. All of the drill data has been passed on to our third party engineer. And they are now crunching and building the wireframes and resource models now to calculate the gold and silver numbers. So. Last year, we reported approximately 3 million ounces, and I expect the new numbers to be much larger. Wow, congratulations on all of your drill, drill results and findings. Now, one of the questions I have is, obviously, drilling is very expensive. So is, does the company have enough capital to run all of its programs currently? We do. Um, in December of last year, so roughly four months uh, ago, we completed a brokered private placement for $40 million. And that was the capital necessary to do work through 2022. So we have a $30 million budget this year to advance the project. So capital is in our books for completion. Fantastic. Yeah. Jim, are you able to comment on the dealings with any majors? Obviously, when you're a, a small cap, company that's in the metal sector, gold and silver, there's always going to be majors poking around looking that might be interested. So are, are you able to comment on any dealings with any majors and what their interest level may be for benchmark metals? Yes, I can. Uh, the company has signed um, a handful of confidentiality agreements. Great. I uh, cannot mention those companies, of course, uh, but they are performing due diligence. They are looking at our data there have been site visits completed where there have been boots, boots on the ground with engineers and geologists. Um, it, during our brokered placement in December of last year, Yamana Gold invested in the company. And it's fair to say that, um, you know, they invest in companies that they have uh, their eyes on. Um, so not only are we just uh, in an investment, but um, I think you could stretch it out to say that uh, being an investment, perhaps we are a takeover candidate for that company. But I think in general, Benchmark is a takeover candidate. 
I think there's good potential for this company company to be taken over during 2022. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's a bold statement, but um, you know, given our treasury is strong, uh, we have a new resource that uh, could approach close to 4 million ounces gold and silver. Wow. And we have a preliminary economic assessment that's in progress. So there's big milestone events and we're most certainly undervalued. And that's what makes us attractive to these corporates. Jim, can you give us your view on commodity prices with all of the things that are happening in the world, uh, inflation issues that are happening, for example, what is that in your opinion going to do with commodity prices? I think uh, commodities are entering a bull bull run phase here. Um, Certainly debt, Inflation numbers and geopolitical risk around the world uh, will have an influence on precious metals. And even though gold currently is at $1,950 US an ounce, which are, you know, quite honestly, astonishing numbers for the miners to be um, pulling gold out of the ground. These create very good margins and the reporting record net earnings. I think uh, the gold price is spring loaded. And at some point in the near future, it will be above $2,000 an ounce. There's too much inflation. The inflation numbers, the only method to control these are to increase interest rates. Increasing interest rates also causes issues. So um, certainly that it's a bit of a spring loaded precious metals market at the moment. And I think companies like Benchmark, um, and the miners who actually have cash flow will be rewarded here soon. If there is anything else you would want shareholders to know about Benchmark Metals Inc. today, what would it be? I'd say keep, keep an eye on the drill results, the updated resource, and a pending preliminary economic assessment. These value added results and numbers will move the share price, will improve the market cap. Um, And best of all, as we mentioned, it's covered with our cash and treasury balance um, that's in the company right now. So there should be some good movement with this company. Yeah. And I'm a big shareholder, just like, um, you know, people watching your program. Uh, Management is here to win with the share price. Um, so we've got skin in the game as well. That sounds fantastic. If anyone has any questions about benchmark metals, what is the best way to get a hold of the company? Best method is to visit our website, uh, www.benchmarkmetals.com. Uh, but we also have quite an active, uh, Twitter, uh, and Facebook and LinkedIn accounts. So, um, I would follow the Twitter results, but also take a look at our news releases and and sign up for the emails. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. We are investors. This community has been built by investors, for investors. We really like metals right now. Like Jim is saying, this is a high inflation year right now. There's going to be many more interest rate hikes happening And that is not really good for the global economy, but investors will be looking for safe havens and gold and precious metals like silver has always been a place where people will put their money when they're looking for a safe haven. That's why I believe everyone needs to put their attention right now on Benchmark Metals Inc. The symbol in Canada, BNCH. The symbol in America, BNCHF. We believe here at Rich TV Live, it is undervalued, underappreciated underexposed. I want to thank the president for joining us today, Jim Gregg from Benchmark Metals, Inc. Thank you for joining us today, Jim. Thank you, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like this video, please smash the like button, comment on the video, share it everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the president of Benchmark Metals, Inc. saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.